All right, Tom, it's actually Nick stepping in for Cammy. We'll get to Cammy here in just a second. Hey, it's no secret. Animals create a lot of joy. Angie Severson is joining us here. She's an animal lover, and she is the owner of Angie's Place. And we have Lainey joining us here today. How are you guys doing? We are doing pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah, pretty good. Tell me a little bit about, uh, we have a little guest here, uh, too. We have Cappuccino, right? Yes. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about Cappuccino. So Cappuccino is our shop superstar. Um, people come in to hang out, but they instantly go to his cage and want to figure out where he's at. Cappuccino is a three-year-old lion head bunny. That's the breed that he is. So, I, yeah. Extremely well behaved, by the way. He's yeah. been sitting here the entire newscast. Yep. Hasn't moved too much, hasn't, uh, hasn't made any noises or anything like that. So pretty well behaved, right? Yep. He potty trained too, right? I think you were. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, hope so. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's been sitting on my lap for a while. I'm like, oh dear God. Yep. And so, so. what uh, what type of pets do you have at at Angie's place? I know you have more than just the rabbit, right? Yeah. So we have Cappuccino is right at the shop. So he stays there. Um, he stays there with us during the school year, and then he'll end up coming home for the summer with me, just like the kids do for school. And then we also have an aquarium that is full of hermit crabs, and that's also one of the favorites for kids. Mm -hmm. I consider just taking them home or giving them away because they don't do a whole lot. Yeah. But the kids just, they're drawn to them right away. We do take them out and, and they'll walk around and play with them too, so. Oh yeah, we got, we got yep, some little there, there, there too. We... Uh, so I kind of want to ask about the goat yoga. Yes. So tell me a little bit about that. What does that entail? Well, all the, when we had first started Miss Angie's Place, it was kind of like, you know, what should we offer? And it's like, let's just offer whatever people come and ask about. And so my neighbor wanted to do um, a family yoga session, which we did. Mm -hmm. She has baby goats. So I oh, said, wow. well, there's this goat yoga thing that's popular. How yeah. about we do that? And she's like, sure. So she brought over five baby goats and um, it's Candice in Austin. I can't think of the name. It's Sangha Studios, I think. Okay. So she's the yoga instructor that came over to do, and I said, can we have goats in there? She's like, yes, that would be amazing. So that's what we did, and it was the first time doing that as well. Yeah. But now that we're getting our bigger space, we want to bring that back this summer. So when, did, when, when was the first time that you did the, the goat yoga? We've only done it once, and it was actually about this time last, last year. Last year, mm -hmm. and it was successful then? Or it's successful enough that you would you want to keep doing it, apparently. Oh, it was super fun. I yeah. don't know if a whole lot of yoga happened, but <laughs> I mean, and the poor goats, It when you see people doing that, these goats have done it more than once, so these little babies had not. Mm -hmm. And so they're all just kind of hiding in the corner, And but eventually, yeah, it was so a lot of fun. Besides, obviously, the fun pets like the hermit crabs and the bunnies and the goat yoga, what are some of the things that uh, is fun for some of the kids? Lainey, maybe you want to touch on that. What's, what's kind of fun? Uh, for kids going to Miss Angie's place. So on her website, or sometimes she'll even message you, but she has calendars and you can pick out activities. And one of the fun ones I saw was paper marbling. And it um, it's shaving cream and food dye, basically. Mm -hmm. And you just kind of let it dye onto pa paper. Um, but she has like, she has a whole cabinet of paint and you have sewing and a bunch of fun games in the other room. It's really nice. What about making slime? Do you guys make slime? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is slime pretty fun? Yes. Yeah. Uh, tell me, just to if if, if you know, no one knows, where, where is Miss Angie's place at? It is in Pine Island, Minnesota, which people think is so far away it's from Rochester, far. but it's not. <laughs> um, I taught at Leward High School for five years, and so from my doorstep to Leward High School only took me 15 minutes. And so oh, it's yeah. really pretty close. Yeah, so it's right on Main Street in Pine yeah. Island. Perfect. And, and you're still looking to move locations, right? Yes. Right now we're in our building is was built in 1895. So it's the old Irish building in Pine Island. We're on the main floor. But we thought we should buy an older building. So now we're moving into a church that was built in 1867. Em emphasis on the older there. Yeah. <laughs> it, um, so it was the Episcopal Church in Pine Island and then was purchased by Good News Evangelical Free. And then now we're going to purchase it, and our closing date is May 26. Hey, that's awesome! So bigger space for more goat yoga. Yes. Might even get me out there to do some goat if yoga. That'd be like pretty. To try it. That, that'd yep. be pretty fun. Hey, I think we have our Cami Raisler standing by because Miss Angie brought uh, along some more guests here with us. Guys, let me know if we have Cami Raisler standing by out in the lobby with some more guests. Cami, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you see? Can we you can't see your see. little crab? Look, it's a little hermit crab. <laughs> Cruising along here. 
Okay, Dice, who is that? What's the crab's name? Uh, that's Clover. Uh, they're the one with the clover on their yeah, shell. Sorry. That's oh, how you can tell. This other one's Roman yeah. here, too. Who's this one? Uh, Heart is the one on the move, and then Star is kind of out of the shell, but someone decided to scare him. Oh. And then the last one is Hammer. <laughs> Now they're going back into their show. Okay, we have some, some kiddos here with us because Miss Angie yeah. brought a few other people. So who do we have? What is your first and last name? Um, Alan Vi. And? Alex Devai. How old are you two? 14, 12. 14 and 12. And you guys are brothers? Yes. Okay, you're the only two that are related to everyone else. How, who, how old are you guys? Uh, I'm Dice Gray and I'm 13. 13? I'm McKeeley Berg and I'm 11. Ivory Severson, I'm 11. Ivory, what happened? You sprained your knee? Yeah. Oh, well, we hope you get better soon. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. Okay, good. The hermit crabs cheer you up? Yeah. So, Dice, you are the hermit handler. <laughs> Is that right? Uh, for now, yes. Okay. So, do you enjoy hanging out with the hermit crabs at Miss Angie's place? It really depends on if they're in the soil or not. What does uh, that mean? They like to burrow and uh, oh. not be here. This is not their normal cage. What do you have in here? You have some carrots? Uh, are those the rabbit's carrots? Are those cappuccino's carrots? Uh, not that I'm aware of, but the crabs have been known to get a little mischievous at night. I, I think, maybe. So how often are you guys hanging out at Miss Angie's place? Every, uh, like after school. Every after, day. school. Day. after school, almost every day? Yeah. What are some of your favorite things to do at Miss Angie's place? Draw. You like to draw? You're an artist? Yes. Awesome. How about you? Go outside. Go outside. We're almost getting warmer temperatures. It's supposed to be really nice this weekend, so that's exciting. Um, how about you? What's your favorite thing? Um, I like all the acti activities that we do. What are some of your favorites? Um, like nail salon and stuff like that. Ooh. You like to get your nails done? Are they done right now? Yes. Oh, of course they are. What do we have? What color? Um, they're they're actually color changing, and they change they in the sun. They, so they're, right now they're purple and sparkly, and they change in the sun. They change like to a magenta pink. That is so cool. So, yeah, once it gets sunny or maybe tomorrow or the next day. Okay. Dice, anything else you want people to know? What are these water bottles here? Uh, those are sensory bottles. They just have glitter in them, and you can shake them, and it's really pretty. Okay. Let's shake one while we send it back to Nick, Miss Angie, and Lainey. Here, you like sparkles on your sparkly, on your sparkly fingernails. All right, that's all from us. Nick, we'll send it back to you. Miss Angie, they were well behaved. Miss uh, Miss Angie, Cammy just said they were well behaved. I know okay. you can't. I, I know you can't. Miss Angie was a little worried over here if they were misbehaving or not. Lainey was like, I wish I could hear them. I was they, trying to read their lips. Yeah, they 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 behaved very very well. Okay. It was fantastic. So there's a lot uh, going on, obviously, at Miss Angie's place. So they all the kiddos. They've talked about all the fun activities that you guys have going on. Real quick, what's something that you're looking forward to with the warmer weather ahead? Do you have anything anything fun planned? Going outside. Yeah, just going outside. Um, I think last. Someone was here and talked about the recycled boat regatta, which I do want to put online so people, even if they don't go to Miss Angie's place, can still participate in that. And then the other thing we do when it gets warm out is we do what's called kindness rocks. And so we oh, paint yes. the rocks yep. and, yeah, and then put our logo on the bottom. And then when people find them, then they can take pictures. And Pine Island has, it's a small community of like 3,600, but we've got like 15 parks. Awesome. Yeah, so we get some bikes from the local borrow a bike. Yeah. And then we ride around town and hide them. And awesome. Well, thank mm -hmm. you so much. The good news is, I think coming up in your weather forecast, we have some more weather right around the corner. We'll be right back after this.